Hey guys, what's going on? Side Home Theater Dude, got a brand new episode for today. Today's video is all about the new Pro Series from SVS. I have the SVS SB2000 Pro, the PB2000 Pro, and the PC2000 Pro. I have them all in the house. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, and I'll do it right after the intro. All right, so let's go ahead and tear into these boxes. Yeah, little guy. It's got a little heft to it. So this is actually a little smaller than what I remember the SB 2000s, but you know, I don't have a lot of experience with these. Um, I haven't had a uh, sealed 2000 in the house. Basically, I started off with the PB 12 NSD, and then that one basically jump started my love for the SVS speakers or the SVS subwoofers. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is that it comes with a power cord. This thing's pretty simple, self-explanatory, nothing really fancy about it, um, but you have your standard power cord. Over here is gonna be one of the biggest changes in the uh, 2000 series, or well, the 2000 Pro, is you have a mesh grill as opposed to a nice ma uh, me metallic grill. So now that these are mesh, um, we'll see if it aesthetically looks a little better than what it would with the standard metallic grill. It's pretty simple. Another thing you get is your quick startup guide and your um, registration, product registration. And as always, if you guys want to go ahead and purchase these, go ahead and contact me over at Dream Media. I'll go ahead and get you hooked up on some of these uh, subwoofers. <laughs> and that's it. There's, there's, there's nothing else. Um, but that's it. I was looking for other stuff in the box to unbox, but there's that's it for the unboxing. <laughs> There's no remote. You control all that for, with the app. And if you guys give me a minute, I'll go ahead and uh, swing around and show you guys some of the close-ups on this thing. Okay, so this is going to be one of the biggest upgrades with this 2000 series. As you guys have noticed that with the Pro series, um, you get an extra 50 watts of amplification uh, from this plate amplifier. Now this is 550 watts to uh, 1500 watts max. So that extra head, head room is gonna give you a little, uh, you know, e extra assurance that whenever um, those big explosions happen, that this thing will be able to deliver on those. So very simple setup. You have your inputs right here. You have your outputs. So if you wanna daisy chain them, you can do that as well. Typically what I would recommend is just hooking a subwoofer cable up to here and then programming your um, AVR to LFE. And then just use this one right here on the right side is labeled conveniently for you LFE. That's all you have to do. Um, some people, they split these off. I don't think it's necessary. Um, it's kind of like an older thing to do that. Typically, whenever the, the amplifier isn't receiving enough signal, it re receives a split signal and then it gives it enough juice. But typically for all modern um, type of uh, setups, this is gonna be all you need, one single subwoofer cord or subwoofer cable and you're done. Up here, you have the ability to add the wireless adapter. So if you want to go ahead and stick this in any spot in, the, your, in your room and you don't necessarily want to run a subwoofer cable, you have the um, ability to do that with the, or the flexibility to do that with the wireless adapter. SVS makes it and you can use it for um, non-SVS subs as well. And then basically over here is you have the different um, modes that you have. So this is going to be your, obviously your up and your down, but you can control it on and off. And then over here, kind of like a menu. So if you want to program your low pass, you'll be able to do that up here. And then you have your phase, you'll be able to do that down here, just pressing these things. And then if you want to control the gains, the subwoofer gains, just press this button and then up, up and down over here. Very, very simple. I mean, they made it the most simplistic uh, type of way possible. And I think that this is really going to alleviate a lot of the headaches that you guys have uh, whenever you're trying to get this thing set up. Another thing you'll notice over here, you have the... Uh, the trigger input. So if you want to hardwire this one to where your AVR, your receiver turns on, it'll turn this big bad boy on. Or if you want to have it auto on, like I usually have mine set up, typically whenever the subwoofer received a signal from this input right here, it'll just turn on anyway. So otherwise it'll just be in standby mode. That's the preferred method, but some people are old school and they just like to have, you know, hardwired connections. I can't uh, knock you for that. It's just different taste for different folks. So let's go ahead and uh, do the unboxing of the PB 2000 and also the PC 2000. I'm not going to necessarily go over the uh, amplifiers on those uh, Basically because it's the exact same amplifier. You're just going to be noticing um, the different type of models whenever I do the unboxing So let's go ahead and get into that All 
All right, so let's get into my favorite. You guys know the ported ones are my absolute favorite subwoofers, especially from SVS. I think that they uh, deliver um, uh, a decent amount more output. And if you have the space, then there's no reason not to go with these. They uh, deliver a great sound and they're nice and tight, especially uh, with these lower models. You'll get a lot of great subwoofer performance for music and, uh, and home theater. So it's like dual purpose. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is that you get your product registration, your quick startup guide. Um, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is, since this thing doesn't have a remote, all you do is control this subwoofer with your SVS app. So if you have a tablet that you just keep in your living room, you can control it with that as well. Okay, so first thing you're gonna notice is you have your product registration in here and also a quick startup guide. And then you have your um, fancy catalog that has every single thing that they have to offer so as you buy a subwoofer and you're like well hey well maybe i need some cables and different stuff like that you can flip through this um leave it in your bathroom and maybe it'll be some an enjoyable reading for you a little later on <laughs> the other thing you're going to notice is a power cable very very simple you guys have seen that before Ugh. all right i've seen this story before so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to tump it over that's probably gonna be the most simplistic way to get this thing out I've done enough of the uh, subwoofer unboxings to know uh, to not break your back on these things. It's just not worth it. So always think smarter and don't work harder. So with that one, you get a big box for a cat to play around with or a kid to make into a race car. So it's dual purpose. So if you're telling your wife, hey, I want to get this subwoofer, you're getting some of them for the kids as well. So don't, don't worry about any of that. Another thing over here is you get your massive cloth grill. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Yeah, roughly the same as the other one. I'm a big fan of those metallic grills, but as you know, I don't even use them. So it's, what, what, how do I have a dog in the fight anyway? There you go, simple. You're not gonna have to worry about killing your back, <laughs> lifting this thing out of the box, just use physics. So they've been adding a lot more of these uh, drying materials. I guess these are desiccants. They've been adding a lot more of those I've been noticing to the new uh, subwoofer, subwoofers that I've been unboxing for this channel as well as the speakers that we got over at Dream Media for that one. And if you guys are wondering if I'm gonna be doing these versus the, the older 2000s or the 2000 Legacies or the 2000 non-pros, I am gonna be. so. I'm gonna be doing a shootout in between 2000 and 2000, model to model, and then also um, doing that whole new subwoofer tower video all over again with uh, some fancy recording equipment so that the microphone doesn't clip on that one. Because if you guys saw that video, the audio wasn't the best. Uh, it, was, it was just too much volume, too much SPL for that little uh, GoPro that he was using to record. So um, this is what you get. I really like the size of it. I think it's really uh, really manageable for most people's space. All right, so what do you get in the box? So in the box, what we have is this bigger bigger cabinet than the one that we just uh, unboxed for you guys. The 12-inch high excursion driver, dual ports down at the bottom. That's the difference in between this one, the cabinet, and the, the Legacy PB2000, is that that was a single port design, and it was kind of like offset. So the driver was up here, port was down there. I didn't like it uh, the, aesthetically because it just, it looks a little funky. I think that with the dual ports, aesthetically, I th it, it, it looks a lot better. Again, if you guys are putting the, the, the grills on, it's not gonna be a big deal anyway. So that's just one thing to note. Um, I had the PB12 NSD and it had that exact same um, offset port design. And uh, aesthetics aside, the thing performed amazing. So it basically depends on what's important to you. That's what she looks like with the grill on. Same exact amplifier, plate amplifier on the back. Again, guys, I'm not gonna do close-ups of this one. If you guys want to uh, look at that, go to the beginning of the video because I don't think it's important to show you guys the exact same thing that these have in common. So that's the uh, most common denominator right there. All right, so now onto this big Bama Jamma. I think it's kind of cool that they still uh, make the uh, cylinder subs. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with, but uh, 
the cylinder subs are what SVS was originally known for. Um, that pretty much launched their brand uh, way back when. All right, so you get power cord again, warranty registration, quick startup guide. So this one was the easiest to unbox. It kind of just slid right out. All right, straight up. They could have used some looser uh, wrapping material on this one. This one is by far the most cumbersome to get out of its uh, plastic wrapper. And as you'll know, they kind of uh, took a little more care with this one in packaging. They put this little wrapper on it to protect it. And also to protect the, uh, the finish. So I don't think you realize that so one thing you may not realize is that this one is completely different than this one. Not in fact that it just looks different, but this one is available with its piano black top. So that's uh, one of the bigger things and it's not available in any other finish. So you get your piano black, uh, piano black top here. Only finish that, that, that it's available in. This one's available in piano black, uh, piano white, or this black ash. This one is just black ash. Again, you'll notice that it has a bigger port down here, and this port is actually bigger in design than this one over here. So um, just some, some quick uh, reference for you. Bigger port down here, same plate amplifier that I explained in the beginning, and uh, gloss top, and then goofy looking design. Uh, if you guys have it, don't have enough space for one of these, you'll get a lot of the same performance and output with one of these. And typically you can just shove this in the corner, and I think it has about roughly the same footprint as this one. So just something to think about. Okay, so one last thing to note on the uh, PC2000 Pro is that this one comes with the SVS isolation feet included. Um, my personal uh, idea is that they would include these in anything with the 4000 and above, um, but they don't. So um, these aren't snake oil, guys. These definitely make a difference. So I would highly recommend if you guys have like pictures shaking on the walls or plates dancing over in the kitchen or you know stuff rattling off the shelves upstairs, these really help out decouple the subwoofer from your space. So all those unwanted um, vibrations in your house actually be uh, reduced or even um, you know completely gone by the, by the time you actually put these things on there. And uh, it's, it's, it's just one thing to note. Down here you have your 12 inch high excursion subwoofer uh, driver. And then you have your uh, massive port on the back here. Let's see if I can rotate it. Yeah, this massive port kind of uh, goes up like a chimney. So it's actually really, really deep and it's really, really wide. So I think it's bigger than this one here. Well, all right guys, hope you like the unboxing of the SVS Pro Series. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these over to the shop and then I'm gonna test them uh, one by one. So the SB2000 versus the SB2000 Pro, PB2000 versus the PB2000 Pro, and then the PC2000 versus the PT PC2000 Pro. So, and then right after that, I'll go ahead and do a complete, uh, I'll add them to the wall and then we'll do a complete shootout of all of them, you know, from 1000 all the way up to the, the, the 16 Ultra Series. There are a couple things that are different in between this new Pro Series than the previous series. I've said it before in that mini little video that I did whenever they launched the Pro Series. So the biggest thing is going to be the uh, new cloth grill. You also have that uh, higher capability amplifier, so 50 additional watts RMS, another 400 watts of headroom on the, the, the peak, and then you get those uh, DSP added to there as well. So I'm not sure if you guys know what DSP is. Everyone always talks about it. Um, but it's really, really a game changer, especially in subwoofers and home theaters, because, you know, sometimes aesthetically you can't put it in the right place or, you know, you just don't have space for the, the right prop, uh, the, the proper subwoofer placement. So what DSP does is uh, it's, it's a free software that you can download. It's called Room EQ Wizard. And then you buy a calibrated mic. You can't just use the one that you get from your uh, AVR, the one that plugs into your Denon or Marantz. That one doesn't work. But you basically buy a calibrated microphone like Dayton Audio, Parts Express has it, or you can get one on Amazon as well. 
you use those in in uh in tandem and then you run a frequency sweep and then what it does is it it basically measures your room with subwoofer output and then where your subwoofer is placed it'll help you um, get the most linear response so if it's showing a graph on a frequency sweep from you know 100 hertz down to 10 you know you may see some peaks and valleys basically what you want to have is the most linear response going all the way through and peq uh on a, on the dsp which basically means it's an EQ that you can manipulate the waves, that you can increase the fatness of the wave, you can increase the amplitude of the wave, and then that basically helps get that most linear response on your uh, readout whenever you're doing those um, software adjustments. So that's just one thing that most people don't understand what DSP is. It's really, really important to have that, especially in uh, getting the most out of subwoofers, especially when you're spending big cash like you are with, with a lot of these products. So it's really a big bang for the buck type of thing, and I think it's crucial to have that on there. Um, but that's basically it. Let me, let me know down in the comments if you guys like the cloth grills, if you guys like the new cabinet design, if you guys like the brand new uh, headroom um, on, on the speakers or on the subwoofers themselves. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, hear these things in person before you pass judgment. You may not think that you know these uh, updates have been merited, but just go ahead and hear them in person and then hopefully that'll help you make your uh, decision overall. But So if you guys wanna buy any of these, make sure you hit up Dream Media. I'll leave their information down below. Uh, you can order anything that you see in this room as well as those uh, those, those uh, brand new subwoofers that I was just talking about. Uh, besides that, I'm going to go in this video here. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.